हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सेल सुधीर राय कोच अ चैनल फॉर वर्डिंग एंड इमर्जिंग ऑफ्थलमोलॉजिस्ट टुडे आई एम शेयरिंग ए यूनिक केस इन्वॉल्विंग अ पेशेंट विद रेडियल क्रेटॉटमी स्कार्स हु हैड प्रीवियसली अंडरगोन विटकमी विद सिल्कॉन ऑयल टेम्पोनाद ड्यू टू अरेटनल इश्यूज द पेशेंट सब्सिक्वेंटली डेवलप्ड अ कैटरेक्ट एंड वी नाउ नीडेड टू परफॉर्म कैटरेक्ट सर्जरी इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ सिल्कॉन ऑयल विद इन दी चैम्बर to begin with i created the side port incisions and then carefully removed the silicone oil from the anterior chamber since the radial keratotomy scars were minimal and there were sufficient space available between uh, them i opted for the corneal approach performing both side ports and the main clear corneal incision through the cornea Fecal emulsification uh, proceeded uneventfully. However, due to prior vitrectomy, these cases often present with anterior chamber fluctuations during surgery. To to manage this, it's crucial to lower the bottle height in gravity-fed system or reduce the intraocular pressure. Uh, in if the if you are using active prosthesis system, and always proceed slowly and calmly. In many of these uh, post vitrectomy cases the posterior capsule tends to have plaques or deposits due to the presence of silicone oil and the reaction there is usually no need to polish them as they typically do not interfere with the vision and in case of uh, uh, interference then in future we can do yag laser capsulotomy After lens implantation I always advise a retinal evaluation to ensure the retina is stable and to plan further management if it is required. Please enjoy the video and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. I would love to hear from your thoughts and that's a way uh, to learn and to become an, an accomplished ophthalmologist and a uh, a good uh, cataract surgeon and enjoy the video thanks for watching